placement percentages inside of sponsored product ads. Where the heck are these placements and where do they appear inside of a shopper search? Let's talk about it. So I got this amazing question from one of our newsletter subscribers. So if you were not aware, we're doing a weekly Q&A every single Thursday and we send out a recap of every single one of those questions along with the answers. So I highly recommend you get on that list. But part of that was this amazing question. Can you please tell me where's the location of top of search product pages and rest in of search for product targeting campaigns. This is a really, really good question. So let's dive into this because these nuances are really interesting. Now, whenever you're trying to understand how something works, you need to go to Amazon's documentation. So I'm gonna put a link to this in the description. This is Amazon's documentation on adjusting bids by placement. Now, you'll also know this isn't fully up to date because although they do define where the rest of search shows up. They don't actually tell us that we can set placement percentages for rest of search campaigns. Although if you've been keeping up with the updates from Amazon, you know that you should have the ability to add in a rest of search placement percentage as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk through where these placements are defined. We're going to look at a search page and sort of understand what that looks like. And then what we'll do is we'll kind of apply our understanding of that to how this would function inside of a sponsored product product targeting campaign. Let's get into it. So if we go to the Amazon search page and we type in a specific shopper search, what the top of search sponsored product placements are referring to are these very top, so the top row placements specifically for sponsored product ads, which means although this sponsored brand ad here is showing higher, so at the top of the page, that is not a sponsored product ad and so would not be included in any top of search placements, all right? Now let's look at rest of search. So the rest of search refers to sponsored product ads on the middle or the bottom of the results page. This also refers to sponsored product ads in the second page of search results and beyond. So basically rest of search placements is going to be any, again, sponsored product placements. So this is not going to include um, potentially some of these carousels. It would not also include any of these sponsored brand ads, but anything that is a sponsored product placement that is below that first placement, that is going to be considered a rest of search, which could also include page two, page three, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it would not refer to, so top of search is defined as on the first page. It's not going to include, say, that top row on page two. So hopefully that clears up because I think there's a bit of misconceptions there. Now, this is quite interesting. Sponsored product pages. So this refers to sponsored product placements on the product detail pages and all non-search placements such as the add to cart pages. So this is quite interesting. Again, that's why it's really beneficial to always go back and look at the documentation and look at Amazon's definition for things when you're trying to sort of understand how something works. So product page placements refer to things as uh, obviously the carousels in the bottom of the page. So if we go into one of these products right here, what we'll find is, again, this is for sponsored product placements only. So this is not going to include the sponsored display advertising here and here. But if we look at these carousels for um, sponsored product ads, this would be one of the placements, but it's also going to include, now it sort of infers that there's more placements. So it says all non-search placements. So that would be any, any pages that are not specifically triggered by search or on this product page, um, such as the add to cart pages. So sponsored product page placements are going to actually cover um, probably more places and can also potentially give you a boost onto some other advertising spots that you might not 
fully have available to you. Now, the issue with this is it's a bit ambiguous and you're not going to be able to see really how and where these show up, although you will be able to see um, how often you show up here because if you look at um, sort of the documentation where it talks about where you can look at reporting for this, um, you can see sort of these um, in your sponsored product placement reports. And there's also the placements tab inside of Ad Console if you go into a campaign. So that's where you would sort of see this dynamic again, but you're not going to get the individual spots. So those are the placements and how Amazon defines them. But of course, the question that is often asked, which is asked here uh, in, you know, sort of this follow up to the email is how does this work in product targeting campaigns? Because if you go into your account and maybe you're checking, again, sponsored product placements report, or maybe you're checking the placements tab, you'll actually see that top of search and rest of search, as well as obviously product page placements show up in product targeting campaigns. So like, how are these placements appearing? How are they triggered? Well, we can define where these placements actually are if we look at the definitions. So that means if you're running a product targeting campaign, it has the potential to trigger this top of search placement or the rest of search placement. Because if we look at the definitions, that's what Amazon said. When you hit top of search, this is where that top of search is. When you hit rest of search, this is where that rest of search is. And of course, product pages, where you would naturally infer is those carousels. And that's where we think most of our placement should come through. But the question is, oftentimes we see like really high top of search or maybe really high rest of search in terms of, you know, the amount of impressions that are being triggered through product targeting. So the question is not so much where do these ads appear, because that is clearly defined. The more difficult and the question that I'm going to kind of try and infer based on this, again, Amazon does not document this, let me be very clear, uh, but infer based on my experience and what's currently uh, starting to show up more and more inside of our uh, search term reports for sponsored product ads. So again, if you look at the documentation where these things appear, it's very clear. So that like the question is like where, how in the world are these things triggering? So from our understanding and what we've observed through running uh, sponsored product targeting campaigns, um, some of the results we've been able to get. So for example, we were able to get an Amazon choice badge based off of specifically nothing more than a product targeting campaign of one of the main best sellers. And if you look at what is currently starting to show up more and more in our sponsored product search term reports, that is that sponsored product targeting does trigger keywords. Then the question is, how are these keywords triggering? And so what we've kind of inferred, again, based on the analysis of our search term reports and an analysis of just kind of our experience and what we've seen over time when running you know, hundreds and thousands, uh, probably tens of thousands of these types of campaigns, is that it has to do with the indexing for the product that you are targeting. Um, that's what we've seen. Indexing as well as uh, sort of where the sales are typically coming for these products. At least that's been our observation. Now, maybe in the future, Amazon will roll out more extensive documentation on this. I really hope so. Uh, obviously, you can try and cross-check this with your reps um, to see if they have any for their insights here. But uh, what I would say is if you're trying to kind of understand this, I would start paying very close attention to your search term reports, again, specifically for sponsored product ads and for product targeting, and you will start to see a lot of keywords show up in relation to uh, your product targeting campaigns. So historically, um, we hadn't really seen many keywords show up in these reports. We knew that it happened, again, based on Amazon's documentation um, and based on our sort of understanding of this concept of where the actual placements were, what that meant. Um, so we were aware that these sort of keywords were being triggered, but it wasn't made apparent to us because it wasn't really showing up in search term reports. Now what we're seeing is that those uh, keywords or search terms 
are showing up in our search and reports, which means we can make a much more uh, educated guess as to kind of how these specific keywords are triggered. So I know that's not going to give you a full detailed answer, but hopefully this cleared up sort of where those placement percentages are, uh, what they trigger, what the actual placements are, and how that kind of works when it comes to its relation to product targeting campaigns. And if you want a link to this documentation, check out the description.